Hi, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for this edition of new makeup releases. Are they going on the wish list or not? This video series is inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series that she has. She also has a community playlist uh, that I will link down below with lots of other creators that do this series as well. I personally was inspired by Angelica, Angelica Nyquist, and I totally butcher her name with an American accent, <laughs> but I can't say it the Swedish way that it's said. So uh, I will also link her down below as well. I love watching her do these, and she is the one that inspired me to start doing these. I also link down below all of the Instagram accounts that I use to find all the new makeup releases. My favorite one is Indie Makeup Spotlight. She has all the new indie releases. She is actually Amy Loves Makeup here on YouTube, so if you haven't checked her out, I'll put her link down below. But I love finding out about all the new indie releases and new indie makeup brands that I don't know about, so I love following her and checking out her Instagram account as well. So today, there are not... I say this every week. <laughs> There's not as many new releases, but then there always seem to be a lot. So, uh, so far there, so far though, there are not as many new releases this week. So this may end up being a shorter one. Um, just a couple like things to note before we get started. This is the last day to enter my uh, thankful for holiday makeup giveaway. So I'll link right here all the products that are in there and I'll link down below the link where you can get entered into it. So I do hope that you get entered into that and let's get into these new releases because there are things that I am really excited about. There's not as many but I feel like they're really good this week. The first thing, the most exciting thing I want to talk about today is the Pantone Color of the Year has been released. I actually don't know when it was released. I feel like it was this week. And it is Living Coral. I don't know if you know a lot about Pantone. What the color of the year is, how that came about, how it influences trends of the year. But I looked up some things and I just wanted to share a couple things that I found. Um, but Coral is one of my favorite colors. So I'm really excited that that is the color of the year. So if you go to the Pantone website, I don't know if the coral matches are up yet, but like last year was um, ultraviolet, the year before was greenery, and what they did, I'm actually going to put a picture up here of what the greenery one was, but Pantone um, shows you lots of other colors that go with the color of the year, how you can mix and match colors, things like that. So Pantone is a company, and they work with all different kinds of companies that deal with color. So they create, I believe I have this right. I've, I've kind of read a couple different things this morning, so I think I've got this right. They create all different kinds of versions of color. So like the Living Coral color is 16-1546. So there are so many different versions of colors and they have these numbers that go with them. So they influence uh, paint collections, fabric collections, makeup, all different things like that in the industry. And each year they announce this color of the year. So uh, Living Coral represents the fusion of modern life, a nurturing color that appears in our natural surroundings and at the same time displays a lively presence with social media. And then they pick the color of the year from all different things around the world as well. So they look at all the different things that are happening in the world with technology, makeup, textures, materials, um, social media, upcoming events, and they choose the color of the year from that. And then it also influences things throughout that next year. So I'm going to show Butter London already has their collection out. They've got some nail polishes and lipsticks out. How beautiful and saturated that color. I am so excited to see how it influences makeup this next coming year. Um, but yeah, I wanted to share that and a little more about it because I, I always knew about the Pantone color of the year, but I wasn't really sure how it came about, what it was, anything like that. So the first one I have is from Makeup Maniac Cosmetics. On Thursday, they celebrated their third birthday and they came out a palette to celebrate that. So here is the palette. I don't, it, it is a very pretty palette and it's got some really pretty deeper tones in there but it's a little too neutral for 
for me, so I will not be picking that palette up, but um, it looks like it's going to be $30 and there's limited quantity. Oh the next thing that we have this week, it was actually released last week, but I think it was after I filmed my video. So ColourPop has an exclusive launch with Ulta and there are two palettes and then there's two lip bundles. Was there anything else? I actually went in Ulta and saw them. So the one with the, the turquoise in it is the Rendezvous eyeshadow palette and it actually is a lot more neutral looking in person than it looks in this picture. And then the other one, the Sweet Nothing palette, is beautiful. <laughs> so I swatched this one in store. I swatched both of them. Um, and I actually picked up the Sweet Nothings palette. And I did purchase it uh, with my points and then they had a 20% off coupon. So I also got my Anastasia Norvina palette. I'm so excited. Those things are coming well, they came yesterday, so there'll be videos with those coming after we get back. But those two palettes together are going to be an awesome color combination because in the Norvina palette, there aren't as many purples as I would have liked to have. And this one has got some more purples in it, so I think they actually are very similar. So I may even swatch them together in a video, but I also think they're going to go really good together. Then the two lip bundles are actually glossy lip bundles, and I just don't need that many more glosses. They do have pretty colors in them, but I am not picking up either of those, but I cannot wait to get that palette and my Norvina palette. I'm so excited. And speaking of Ulta, though, um, they are having like holiday blitz, so every day a certain item is half price, and they're usually from the prestige lines so if you want to check that out all right next we've got Terra Moon cosmetics and they have playing with fire five pan eyeshadow palette it looks like they are all shimmery shades and obviously inspired by fire <laughs> this is not going on my wish list I do not need any more shades like this and I just don't think I would use them very often Definitely a palette that you would incorporate with your other palettes that you own or single shadows. So if you like those shades, they look like they're going to be pretty shades. Uh, but I don't need that. And that released on December 2nd, so that is available now. And the next thing we have, so Sugar Pill now has all seven shades shown from... I don't know if this has a collect, collection name or not. But they're beautiful. Whoa, so their single shadows are $10 a piece. So I guess those are not going on my wish list. Well, okay, so they're on my wish list, but I, I would not purchase a single shadow for $10. I think that is way too expensive. Uh, now, if they had some kind of sale or something, I don't know. But those, all of those shades are beautiful. Every single one of them is gorgeous. I like all of them. But for $10 a piece, that's that's really expensive. They are US based and it's free shipping uh, over $75, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> all right, next, I have to remember to sit over here. All right, next we have got Ace Beauté. Beauté. I'm not sure if we still know how to say that or not. Does anyone know how to really say that? All right, so they have got a sneak peek of the new palette dropping soon. The first person to guess correctly the number of colors featured in this palette will be sent five shades. That is so interesting. I hope it's like uh, 12, like it shows, but it... Oh no, because now there's another one. You can see another one under there. Maybe 16. I don't know. I'm excited to see what that color scheme is. I got the um, Grandiose palette in my BoxyCharm and I love this formula. But then I've also heard from a lot of people that got, um, what was that? Was it the Paradise Collection? That that formula wasn't as great. So it'll be interesting to see what people say about uh, the these shadows. And I'm really interested to see what it looks like. 
And the next one I am so excited, definitely on the wish list, is the Juvia's Place Tribe Eyeshadow Palette. So we saw last week the outside cover of it, and now we know what the inside is going to look like. It looks like there are five mattes and four shimmers. And it is beautiful. I still wish that they would do more... I don't know. You know what I wish? Because they've got their... So they've got their nine pan palettes. And these pans are huge. And then they have... How many are in here? There's 16 pan palettes. So I wish they would have a 12 pan palette of these size. So if they added like... What? what is that three more shades to this but then decrease the size a little bit that would be the perfect size palette but these colors are absolutely beautiful I want this palette in my collection I hope it comes to Ulta and that'll be the next thing that I get with my points <laughs> it definitely has some a lot of colors that you can work together with so it looks it almost looks like the top two are like offsets of a lime green so one's a deeper lime green and one's a lighter lime green so beautiful and then you've got a really deep teal and that kind of lighter orange tone so not a bright bright orange but they all look like new shades from Juvia's Place and I am so excited for that palette beautiful on my wish list Next we have, ooh, we know some more colors from the Max, I totally said Max the Makeup last week, it's Max Up the Makeup. Um, you know when you're looking from Instagram, the words are all put together, so I miss a word here and there. Uh, but I still think it's beautiful, I love these colors that have been added to the palette. So last week we had, I think we just had the first five, so now we've got the hot pink, the deep teal, and the shimmery shade. You know, I actually don't know if I need that palette, because I feel like I have all those colors in Juvia's Place, but I can't wait to see what this last color is. If they've already put out the last color by the time I'm editing this. I will have the full palette selection up here. But that palette is gorgeous. Beautiful. I love that there are a, two pink shades so similar that there is a shimmer and a matte because I think that those will work beautiful together. And then you've got like the greenish blue shades and then you've got those brighter shades but all kind of in the red family all made with a red tone. So, I like this palette a lot. I cannot wait to see that last shade. You see what I mean? Everything this week is so exciting. Here's another one that is so beautiful. New Princess Sophia palette. Princess Sophia, my daughters would love that. Uh, from Lash, Lash & Co. So, pre-order is $16.99. That is a good deal. So I don't know anything about this brand. I'm kind of looking through their Instagram. Looks like they obviously were a lash brand at first and then they had one of those huge colorful palettes and now they've got this palette. I love when like upcoming indie brands come out with palettes. This palette is gorgeous and I would love to have it in my collection. Right now I don't think it's going on the wish list but it's only $16.99. Maybe when I need some new lashes, I'll pick up some of those lashes. And Oh, it's Lush, L-A-U-S-H and Co. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so it's regularly priced $19.99, and then it's the $16.99 for the pre-order sale. Those swatches are pretty, too. Yeah, that is beautiful. Man, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Yeah, so that's on the wish list. Not sure if I'm going to be picking it up or not, but that is also beautiful. I probably don't need it in my collection, but I think the price is getting to me too because it is so affordable, but I don't know anything about the quality of these shadows. So, moving on... Yes, so XNO Cosmetics also has got a new palette. I don't know how long this has been out. Oh, pre-order. They're taking pre-orders and it ships on December 17th. So this is the Berry Kisses palette. I really like this. And I love that they have that coral color in there. There we see some right there. Um, 
That is a beautiful selection with this palette. I do wish that they had more mattes in their palettes, and I said that when we talked about the Frostbite palette. The Frostbite palette was that blue-purple tone palette, but I think there were only two or three mattes in that too. And I just wish it had more mattes in there to help me be able to create more eyeshadow looks. Like maybe a light pink or a lavender. A lavender would be really pretty in there. I find that it's hard to find really good lavender shadows. Honestly, there aren't even that many lavenders in palettes. So a lavender would be have been really pretty in there. But they didn't ask me about it before they made it. <laughs> that one is probably not on the wish list. And honestly, those two shimmer shades look almost exactly the same. So maybe instead of one of those, we could have had a different matte shade. It is beautiful. I love the color scheme of it. I love the color scheme of all of their palettes. They do really good color stories. I just wish they would put more mattes in them. We've also got Winky Lux has got three new palettes. I have never had anything from Winky Lux, but they make those like flower lip balms. You can get the flower lip balms at Ulta, but I don't know if these are going to be available at Ulta or not. And they are pretty too. So each of them has some really pretty shades in them, but the one I'm more, most drawn to is the one that has, it's almost kind of like the Norvina palette. It has like a couple really pretty pink and purple shades, and then you've got a lot of neutrals. So why? Same with that. Like if they had added a deeper purple and a lavender, that palette would have been gorgeous. And then you've got the neutral palette, and then you've got kind of a jewel like a jewel tone but then once again too many neutrals in it so yeah let's add some more colorful mattes to these palettes they they are beautiful though and I'm sure they're for someone they are not for me so Juvia's Place also has got did we see those highlighters oh they've got a lot of highlighters coming out okay so first I'm going to show you the Juvia's Place Tribe highlighter collection so I love that this company creates tones for everyone. So in these highlighters, you absolutely have a tone for every skin tone. And they are going to be $15 each. The brushes are two brushes about $7 each. About. Um, so I am probably not picking up any of that stuff because I just... If I have one more highlighter in my collection, I am not going to make it. <laughs> okay, but then last week they showed these heroine, hero, am I saying that right? Hero, yeah, because heroine is the female version of hero. The packaging is very confusing though. It looks like that is the packaging, is the cardboard circle, and then that is the highlighter inside. That is a really pretty highlighter. Also not going to be picking that up. And this is the Heroine Glow 1, so I'm not sure if they're going to have more in that. And I don't know that that goes along. Does it go with the Warrior Collection, maybe? Looks like there, there are two. So I'm not sure if that goes with the Warrior Collection or not. But that's another two highlighters that they've come out with. So they look like beautiful highlighters, and I'm sure they are with the formula that Juvia, Juvia's Place creates. But they are not going to be in my collection. But I cannot wait for that Tribe eyeshadow palette. Oh my goodness. The Huda Beauty is going to be dropping something. This is the picture and it says it's going to be related to eyeshadows. Obviously it's going to be a liquid, liquid glitter eyeshadow. I think that's pretty obvious, right? <laughs> um, I'm not picking up any of these. But it looks like it's going to be available December 22nd. I very much like my Stila Glitter and Glow shadows. And I, and I don't really even use them that often, so I don't think I probably need to add any more to my collection. Only a couple more things, guys. I told you there weren't very many things, but there were some exciting things. This one's not as exciting. Wet n Wild is launching some more lash and brows to their collection. So they've got the Mega Lash Mascara. Protein Mascara, $2.99. They've got Mega Length Mascara, $2.99. And then they're going to have some brow products. So Micro Brow Pencil and Ultimate Brow Pomade. That looks kind of like the Benefit... Which one is it? Is there Cabrow. Is it Cabrow? I 
think it's the cabrow that it looks like. Um, yeah, I mean, if I need a brow pencil, I'll try the Wet n Wild one if it's at Ulta. It's only $3.99, so another one of those skinny tip brow pencils. And then we've got, here is what the Becca, I just, this is the what, so last week, I think it was last week I showed you, it was like a little piece of different Becca highlighters coming out. Here's what one of them's going to look like, Ocean Glow, Blush, Bronze, and Highlight, all in one compact. How are you going to fit your brush in there to get it just on the blush, brow, or highlight? That's ridiculous. How? No. Like, you could swirl it and maybe create a pretty blush, but you cannot, that is not going to be a, no. No, sorry, Becca. Um, so that is, that is going to be available in December. We've got Luna Beauty, which is Manny MUA. His company has just released the Holiday 2018 collection, and they've got the Greek Goddess palette. Honestly, I don't watch, I don't watch those bigger YouTubers who are so drama central. I just can't. <laughs> it's too much drama for me. But this palette is very, very neutral toned very neutral toned. Uh, it really kind of looks like it's a little late to the game. It's a neutral palette with a pop of blue and I think we've seen that over and over and over. Definitely not on the wish list. Definitely not. Then he's also got a highlighter palette. Um, highlighter palettes are not my favorite unless they're a highlighter palette like... I'm not even going to be able to find it. Unless it's a highlighter palette like this with different color tones, that's the Aurora Glow Kit. Not everybody's going to be able to use all of those highlighter shades. So I like either single highlighters or a highlighter palette with different like shades of colors of highlighters. Because then at least I've got lots of different inner corner highlights that I can use. Um, but none of this is on my wish list. I, no. I love Touch of Glam Beauty. Speaking of Touch of Glam Beauty... This is like the most sad thing ever. Touch of Glam Beauty is probably one of the first smaller indie brands that I tried. I might have had Juvia's Place before them. I love their shadows. They are so beautiful. She creates the most beautiful hand pressed shadows with the different designs and things like that. And I got the pizza one, which I did have, I do have a video up from Touch of Glam um, where I showed the shadows that I picked up. And it is it's probably going to be my highlight of the year <laughs> and I will have a video up later with like my favorites of the whole year and look at what this is so sad my daughter did to it this is it right here so I have to repress it but it had such a cute little it looked like a little pizza with how it was formulated so I'll still be able to use it but is that not so sad do you see all the shadows that are in there broken up she totally did that Anyways, they have got a new shadow out called the Dragon Keeper. One um, shifts to, I, I have the picture up here, shifts to four different colors depending on the light that you're in. Um, it's available now and it is on my wish list for sure. At some point... This next year, I will make another purchase from Touch of Glam Beauty. It just hasn't been the right time for me yet because I've tried them already, so I want to be trying different indie brands right now. Um, but I do love their formula, and I love their shadows, and I will pick more up at some point this coming year, but just not right now. Black Rose Cosmetics has revealed all of their shades. So there, I don't know how many there are. 20. They've got 20 shades they don't have a launch date and they don't i don't know a price on them but there are some shades that i want um spirit is like the white it says it's white with flecks of silver but it it looks like there's a little hint of blue to it um what else looks really pretty what is this absinthe is a pale pastel matte green now here's the thing is the way that they're describing them is different from the way that they look in these pictures. So I hope they put some swatches up on their channel. 
Uh, what's this one? Bambi. It says it's a peachy matte pink shade, but it looks like a darker, like coral magenta shade. So I definitely want to see swatches of these to see what they actually look like, but some of these shades are really beautiful and really different from other single eyeshadows out there. So this, these are definitely on my wish list. There are no eyeshadows on their website. Um, so I don't know if these are their first. Oh, are they an Australian company? <sighs> Shipping is so expensive from Australia. Maybe the shadows won't be too bad priced and they have a coupon code or something. <laughs> Okay, but anyway, some of the shadows are very different from other shadows that you've seen before, and I love that when brands do that, so I'm excited to see swatches of these, and maybe they'll have sent them to someone in PR. Ooh, this is pretty too. Pisces. Matte Twilight Blue. So that actually does look like a matte twilight blue. Uh, but those are on my wish list. Whether I end up getting them or not, I don't know, but definitely on my wish list. Ooh, this one is too. Crowley Sunset Yellow but it looks like a little bit of a mustard sunset yellow. Okay, no more. I'm not putting any more on my wish list. Okay, I had to come back today for a quick couple things because I could not not put these in these video, especially, especially, especially since I will not have a new releases next week. I don't know if I said this before. So next week, we leave on Tuesday, so we're gonna be gone all week, so I won't be able to film one of these. There is a video coming next week that I think you guys are really gonna like on Sunday, uh, but I will have a new releases then the following week. So I did not want to let these two things wait for that. <laughs> There's three more things, just three, okay. Um, check this out, guys. Is this not the most amazing packaging on an eyeshadow palette you've ever seen? <laughs> so this is by Glam Light. 18 delicious toppings on the pizza palette. I want it just for the packaging. <laughs> it is so amazing. I took a screenshot of the inside of the palette because they only have a video shown on Instagram. So it's, it's probably a little not great, but there is even, this is set up is probably going to really bother some people. <laughs> I don't mind it, but if I look at it, and I would love to see swatches, like, within the color story that are there, but you can definitely see a color story. You have got, you actually have a couple color stories that can work together. So you've got the greens, and then you've got kind of like the yellow-orange, that color hot sauce. It's like that really bright coral color, beautiful. And then you've got the pinky purples. So there is definitely a color story within here. I'm not sure what all are mattes and what are shimmers, but it does look like it has a good amount of mattes in the palette. So 18 shades for $40. That's, that's really not bad. Glamlight's been recent releasing some things that I really want to try, so that may be a brand that I try in 2019. They also had that Caliente palette that was so beautiful and was on my wish list as well. This is absolutely on my wish list. I love it. Even though it's a circle packaging <laughs> and it's not going to fit well, at least it's not an alien packaging. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. On my wish list. Then we've got, so XNO yesterday, I just talked about another, yesterday, so earlier in the video, I talked about another XNO palette that is um, on pre-order right now. And then last night I saw this one. It is the Love Your Selfie palette. And it's a collab with Mer Meraki Di Divin? Div It'll be down below. It'll be down below. Um, that's the thing about Instagram is you don't know where the spaces are in the names. And if it's a name you don't know. So this is so cool too. I'm telling you, this week has been a lot of great releases. And I feel like it's been mostly indie brands. There haven't been a lot of big brands, big brand releases this week. So this is inspired by sweethearts, like the conversation hearts. Is gorgeous. You've got um, you've got just a couple neutrals in there that you can use for you know just kind of completion of the look if you want to use those. You've got some deeper colors 
in mattes. You've got a whole matte row of beautiful bright colors and then you've got that bottom row of shimmers that are going to go great with these other shades. Actually the, uh, the green and the yellow look a little out of place now that I'm looking at this but it's fun. It's a fun palette. It's probably not on my wish list because I probably have most of those shades but it is it's a lot of fun I like that palette and then the last one is by Chanel ink so most of you probably don't remember because it was a long time ago I talked about the blue jeans palette and the New York palette and the blue jeans palette was like all different shades of blue and that's when this company was just getting started so now they've released a new one and it is the the royalty palette. There's a lot of royalty kinds of things that have been coming out this year. I like this one too a lot. I So in this, the only thing is that in this picture, the orange, the top two orange colors look almost like a matte, not matted, a muted orange color like tangerine and a brighter coral color. But then on the swatches she does, and I'm probably not going to insert this picture, it looks like a yellow, bright yellow and bright orange. So depending on which palette it is, um, I definitely like the picture that I have up here better in terms of if I would want it or not. Because then that middle shade also looks like bright green in the swatch palette. So I don't know which ones they actually are. But if it's like it looks right here, I love it. If it's like the swatch palette, it's probably not on the wish list. But those are the three I wanted to show you because how fun is that pizza palette? I could not let that go for two more weeks. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this week's new releases. Are they going on the wish list or not? Don't forget to get entered into the giveaway before you leave. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you guys. Uh, on my eyes, I have got the... Sweet Nothings palette that I just talked about earlier in this video. So it came yesterday after I filmed that video and I filmed this look today. It's coming up tomorrow along with swatches and a first impression of this palette. So be sure you've got your notifications bell on so you get notified when that one uploads. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!